Welcome to the Pursuit of the Perfect Race. I'm Coach Terry Wilson, and with each episode, I bring stories of athletes to you that share their experiences at races in order for you to learn how to have your perfect race. You will hear stories from athletes of all ages, abilities, and races of all distances. So regardless of where you fit in, there's something in there for you. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let the pursuit begin. Thank you. 
resource we did Colorado and Steamboat. And that was the first show in episode 23. That did it to run six. Steamboat is going to be our course, but for me, it needed to be a VR course because if not, I'd be super disappointed. Because my result that I thought in the first time in 23 was pretty bad. Let's check it out. Let's check some looks out of the water. Oh, but I just don't know if I'm going to be. But it's just something to do. Yeah, and marginally. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, did you do any strings when you go into the phrase? I like to do it there. It's, it's hard, yeah. It's hard. Um, I only did it once or twice a month. You know, I thought I'd, you know, start a workout plan and, you know, get after it. Um, and always let's go through with timing and not having enough time to get something done. Focusing more on the like room rather than lifting weights. Um, I do kind of heavy lifting at work, so I keep decent physique or whatnot from the front of my work, which helps out a lot. Yeah. So, the only thing that's right is, did you do any of these work that I'm saying? Would you do a top list and I won't raise you to do the three point rate? Yes, I did. I'm um, fine with time for the workout. So, the model is, we did, we did a five, five time for the workout week. We did a little bit of a six, seven and a half, three and a half minutes of the bike. Between 80 and 115 percent of the FTP, you blow it up and then take your bike off the pyramid. Um, and then we went up for some issues. I left it up for a run. It was three minutes at race pace, three minutes, a little over threshold, and then I threw it on a bike, so it kind of makes a break. You know, it's nice to get um, so it stimulates the, I don't know, the, the pain you'll be feeling, to, you know, coming off the bike. Um, and I was trying to have some issues that I got, and, and, and my, my, my splits were really fast in the run, and I felt comfortable getting back on the bike. Uh, that was the Saturday before the race. Well, wow. it felt good. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I've worked out. And I said, I think total was an hour and 55 minutes, I think, you know, with warm up and it cool down. Um, I mean, it was, it was, it was great. I've never done anything like that before. I said, I know how fun, like, super simple, super easy. Yeah. And I actually, like, I thought it was around, it might work out already. You have to bring it in to see every time. Yeah, and it's nice because, you know, it's set. You know, it's fun. You know, the, the first half of the night, I didn't know how it's going to run. You really didn't know how far you were going to go. Um, so the first time I kind of did it, I didn't really, so I walked back and it up a little bit longer than it, than it should have been. So then the second one, I was able to turn out perfectly, you know, like, see if I could build speed and take my time trying to work. Um, so never felt good. I think my head probably had fast splits my, my last two, uh, you know, a little over threshold pace, which were just, it was fun. That was just super fast. Maybe that was going to show that it kind of changed my work. Well, that was a good thing. Uh, it's a new company called Tactic Imprints. What did that one put down for right So that co-founder of Newton, he loves Newton, and uh, he started his own new company called Tactic Imprints. He had two companies in it. So he prepares ones like casual shoe, ones like more of a race and flat. Neutral shoe, a six millimeter heel toe drop, and if you break it in, you get one of those out to like a two millimeter drop. Oh, wow. Teach you to take that and hold you to be a neutral and neutral runner. And they're so fast, light, you know, those talks make it. I mean, they're awesome shoes. Wow. So, uh, you know, this middle was 3,200, and all this bike was 16, and 12 on the regular here, yes. And then this was the grind, the week before, or even the week before that, going into the race. This was more like six weeks now. How did you feel going into this race? I was confident, you know, like three weeks out. I thought I was going to have some good training coming in. I didn't think I would drop off. You know, I think I was going to be stuck in these fixes for, for so long. Um, I was confident that this is the first time I really didn't work out to swim. So uh, that's my, that's my big piece of swim. Uh, I wasn't worried. You might have to do anything but swim. I can, I can try less. I know I can swim the distance, so I'm not worried about it. Um, 
And I don't know what I was thinking, but we have been arrested in the Marine Corps big time. And the Lake Force. Like I am silly, but it's not too bad. And it's a lot. So there's no slats on the Lake Force we're on So whenever you see the cop on this, it's not where you see it that I want to go just a little bit more than what I think he said as far as what's going on or what's this in the plan.
I can tell you a story. Uh, I would love to go like days without having my phone on me and not have to worry about it. So you get over to T1, you're staying up your bike. Uh, so we'll make sure that you're staying up your bike because I'm in a pretty big inside of your rear end, and maybe you find a piece of that in your front, and we'll get to know where everything is going. So, yeah. Um, so now we can get her. My name is Mike. And I'm restricted air pressure with an etiquette or a pump in it. I didn't even remember that was me. I didn't know. I didn't get the morning souls back and I didn't lose it or whatnot. So I heard a pump off the same way and I, you know, wanted to run a lower air pressure. I knew it throughout the day. I would put DD in the back. I knew it was going to warm up a little bit near on my knee. Um, but it's a pretty smooth out there. I knew there was some chicken steel, some, some bumps, so I just kind of wanted to, you know, ride that fine line. You know, I was hoping they would talk to 90, look at the 90. The key. Uh, so I put some bottles on the bike. Uh, my nutrition came on the bike. And I was going to make sure I was in the right gear strip in the bike course. And, and I realized that my brakes were rubbing on my disc every day. Uh, so I ended up getting a bike with a bike for the key, got my brakes in the center. Uh, and we were going to go from there. Just make sure I had my salt room. Some extra gels in my pencil box and, and uh, my bottles on the frame, my tennis frame. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put on the distinct stay on some of the two bottles that I ran on the bike. So, whenever you came out of the atmosphere and I transitioned in, and we needed to get in the crowd, how was this? Because it was a nice little nervous. I usually don't have a good point. You know, your numbers are going crazy. But I guess I'd like this one to at least get some votes for us. I don't know why. But, you know, I'm just going to look for the protocol before, you know, we're going to the corral. But it's pretty narrow. It was, it was, uh, it was good to get it over. Smooth findings, you know, where you're going to be at, your, your ways. Um, so you got to run right, right after the run, right after the first turn is when you get it up off the number two. Uh, take the line with your ways. Um, so where we were at, it took quite a while to get our feet in the water. So uh, before we get in the water right here, I announced that the temperature of the water was 62 degrees. It's a little chilly. This is how it cold. Did you realize it was this cold or had a chance to beat this cold for a race today? So I knew it was going to be cold. I didn't know how cold we have been watching it. You know, 60, 61. I think I'm going to write somewhere around 64. I was doing a full battery for it. It didn't do did very well. Like that first day, I threw it. I think the water was 58 or 59. So um, I didn't want it. The water and get it to just to make it swim the day before. Um, I didn't want to get that over my feet at all, but my feet did not pretty quickly. As soon as I got on it, it was the water, I just thought how it was going to affect me. Um, <laughs> we're going to get some work done right now. We'll get it over and we'll figure out what happens. Yeah. I mean, for me, like, when the time of this began, I haven't even looked at the water yet. It is what it is. I'll just bring it on my track. If I need it, I need it. I don't. You can see that's what I'm doing. I don't worry about it. Just bring it on. Do it. I don't have to do it. Exactly. There's a thing you know about the weather conditions or water temperature or how hot it's going to get. I mean, you can obviously be where sleep is not super sleep wants to. But besides that, I mean, there's nothing really you can do. Like, if you freak out because the water's so cold, you're going to be like, okay, the water's cold. It feels warm. I think it's going to be on this next to us, but I'm going to spend her. I'm going to spend So, you get the crowd, you know, the photos go off, you're seeing yourself in the 37 and 40, and you are getting the water with you and right there. What's this like for you? It was fun. Um, we were going to talk the whole time going up. Uh, you know, you're going to the turtles. It took 40 minutes, like 43 minutes, I think, for us to get in the water. After the start of the race, um, age groups are at 7, and then we got the water at like 7.43. So, 
want to know and make sure it's all in there in time so you get some money. Back up a little bit, and then we have some shivers. Okay, yes, nice. Now, I know that there's a little bit of blood coming out of the water. Is that right? Okay. It's a little bit like we said, a blue ramp, but when you come out, it's a little concrete that's not all carpeted. So it's pretty much coming out by super, like, or dirty, or sandy, or anything like that coming out. That's nice. Yeah. Cool. All right, so. Um, I think I'm going to go to the 
times you hear, how do you say no to those temptations? <laughs> so it's funny, so on the, on the way out, there's, you know, I think you have to let me go. Um, it's going to happen before you go. You like make this weird train to go to the bridge. And he says, like, uh, speak for 2%. So you're going to have it. And I can't go to the bridge. I'm like, okay, I don't want to have this one way, but I think it's already going to set my mind that, you know, I need to know how I am walking up to the stretch of the bridge. I'm like, I'm going to run out of here, you know. Um, so I go ahead and walk. I'm like, I'm going to use this walk to the station. Um, I said, no, don't walk. I don't, um, so I stick the cramp. And then my, my list of all that, you know, try to check that out. Um, I think Brian had walked once or twice on my entire run. And this is how you shake out. Um, so I'm like, I think. Okay. So, can you tell you how far was this run course? Very. So, she tells me, we've been on the course the night before. And, you know, I just thought, because I got to the bed, and it's the bells. It's up and down. Um, it's real sad. And even like, just because you don't think you're going to be hard, like the long, you know, gradual uphill, those are the ones that kind of hurt the most. It seemed like. So, I underestimated the bike course. I kind of ran in that bike course. I put it off like I was going to do that. So what I mean is I prepared for it was my right. Oh, my So, overall, how did you just keep in mind? In the other word, I wanted to make that was 25 minutes slower than I wanted to be. Um, I think a lot of like I said, I held back on some of the downhills. And, you know, Hacking that mental, you know, feeling mentally. So I'm not looking for a hit hill, and I was going to run, I was going to walk you through that. It was um, a feel on my part. Um, and I think some of the largest sicknesses um, kind of really showed uh, on the run. You feel like you kind of frame that hill a little bit different. And when you look at it to yourself, you go, you know, you suddenly get maybe a certain point to your you know, I'm going to have to walk through this and just say, hey, this is going to be a tough run, but I want to conquer this 30 person deal. Because what do you say to yourself until you think I'm going to maybe a better shot at a better run? I think we're going to present it when it's, um, the mental game is, is the best reason we got into triathlon. Um, what's the mental, the mental game you play with yourself and um, how far you can push yourself? And if I put it, I just said, frame it differently and say, you know, everyone else is going to be, you know, you're asking these three people to walk through this hill. Well, I mean, I'm not going to go past these three people. That's what I should say to myself. I'm like, oh, they're walking, they're walking through. Like, I'm not going to get past because they're going to tell me they're walking in front of me too. Um, so, you know, I mean, like, and you know, once you walk, you know, you have a, you're, you know, supposed to hurt a little bit more. You're kind of out of that right now. And it hurts to start back up. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely the mental game I, I liked, you know, on the run. The, 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 the. So, as far as, you know, I have say, middle of the race, how is it like? What do you see? What's it like around you? What do you, what's it like in the atmosphere around you? Oh, the atmosphere is great. There's, there's more people. But, yeah, you're getting more toward like, the residential area. Um, there's people out bringing you here. And there was one house that was playing. Metal, which was kind of out of the blue. Uh, I think they were hit meeting up there on that point for the two. Yeah, I ended up the last, the last two and a half miles are pretty much all downhill. Um, I, I found some, some people to run with, and I can't even run with them. And it's, it's nice to, to talk with some people to kind of keep your pace up and keep your mind off of what's hurting. So that, that, that is where it's going to be coming to an end now. Thank you. 
start running the team like that, and at least that drives your season is to see the finish line is always at your empty, at your goal. Um, so I'm trying to get to that excitement. Like, like all those fun, I'm going to do it with my job. And then there are my charities here, you know, the announcer. Um, it's kind of this uplifts everything that you've done, and you have to try to make it all worth it. Um, you know, so I was, I was racing my, my clock. Um, I wanted to, like I said, I was 25 minutes off from where I wanted to be. Um, but I wanted, where I was at, I just wanted to break two hours on a run. I was watching my watch, and I was like 158, and I'm like, I think I can do it. And my watch break a little, a little long, and I don't know if that run course was longer, or she's not um, excuse why it was over two hours. Um, but I wanted to end up under two hours for the hats. And I made some good ideas when we first came to the uh, you know, I just think about it, and I 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 think about I think we got to get over to the base tent and just kind of slop down for a little bit. Um, I know it's going for us, but I think it was a couple hours behind me. So it's funny that I'm hanging out there and it's going to be, uh, I laid down for a little bit. It was shady. Okay. There's shady. There was the rest, I guess, the church right there has some the trees, some shade. It was nice. Yeah, because I mean, the is there's like no shade anywhere, unless you might get scared or something. Yeah, yeah. They were pretty good. I mean, uh, right there, I finished by there was, I did have a church. I had a bunch of trees and stuff by there was small areas of shade. So, finding one was crucial. We were going to find one. So, uh, looking back on it, how well prepared for this race do you feel like you were? Because I mean, yeah, you missed a lot of rain, but you still accomplished not only a sub six hour half, which is good in comparison to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And you get about 40. How do you feel like you are prepared for this race? You push your hands to me, sorry. I was really underprepared. From where my goal was to where was it at? Was possible in a bit. Um, I think we had to do with the fitness, um, but, I mean, at a kind of scale of 10, you know, maybe I was like 6 out of 10 ready for the race, but I'm glad I did it. That's all I can regret doing it, because I wanted to do it for time. Um, it just made me realize that, hey, you need to be consistent. That's where you need to improve that. Um, so this was a learning curve for me. I don't know, I've, like you said, I still didn't want to finish this. You know, two weeks off in a race and it's two hours of training. And so, you know, I was able to put that together with, you know, minimal like training. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we just felt a little better. Yeah. So, if you think one day I can race, this race will get changed and how will be changing. Change the race. Yeah. Uh, because honestly, it doesn't seem like that that the real or maybe that big of an issue overall. I mean, it's not that I think but it doesn't seem like it was a big issue, but I mean, the cramps on the run, it seems like it was a bigger issue than the email. I think it's a good thing to do to push harder than the right. Thank you. 
of races around here. Um, so Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon has a 7.3 in the season. Um, and it's the stroke is quite serious. It's like one of those women who fight the efforts. It's like every Thursday for like two months, we're going to, you know, try to do that. Um, and this is the worst. It's that fun. Try to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the worst. It's just that all of the talent is just unheard of. My first race when we moved out here. Um, so it's called the Summer Open Try. And it was in April. And I'm just going to hear from the book that you show up there. There's a $20,000 place in the Brownfield. I've got a little bubble. I go, my God, welcome to Boulder. Thank you, Mr. Jesus. That's pretty nice. So, uh, let's see here. What happened to the following day? So, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. It's at the P. Randish Try. You know, it's under sports, right? I think. Yes. On Facebook. Um, this is my name, Preston Hernandez. Um, I started a blog. I'm not. I did a blog. Hey. Of course, I started a little blog. I thought I'd been on a blog. But anyway, I guess, like, this is the time I've been typing. And I don't have to prove me everything. Three or four times, because I don't care what my F round CNC is or incomplete CNC is. Like, all of that stuff. Like, I'm not that great at it. I'm not. So, I don't really just like, well, is that how? So you said my face is like, yeah, I'm going to read this picture. Sorry, this is the end of the end. Yes. Like, I get an ad for the company all the time. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that was a dragon diction or something like that. I think they call it. Where you just like talk in other types. I don't know. I haven't heard of that. I don't know how good it is. It's expensive, so I think it would be good. I don't know. I don't know what it calls it. I don't know what it calls it. Well, anyways, um, I don't really have anything else, but the only question left is, what's your definition of a perfect race? So, I see perfect race, what I have to say is, it's taking care of times mentally and physically. Um, it, it's a combination of everything. Um, being mental. You know, being, being in it mentally just as well as, you know, depending on your numbers that you want to, or your topics that you want to have. Um, you know, if you want to do some time, don't let it lay on you for your entire life and your run, just keep on coming and try to get your number for your, the bike, you know, to what the bike's meant to be. Um, so, yeah, I mean, benchmarking from, and trying to hit your goals, um, just bring it all together. Yes, how would you quantify that? How would you know if you have a perfect race or not? I feel like I'm accomplishing it. Not this point, like, I guess. So, I'm just trying to keep in mind the race that I had. Because I mentally checked out. But if I get that game in my all, and I ran a 540, then I feel accomplished like I had a perfect race. Does that make sense? Yeah. I didn't pay it, I didn't. So, I didn't. My mother and mother, my wife, you know, I told me my, my, my first try to find her was I made Texas. And then, it's not easy. And I had to jump around in the biggest world. So, I wanted to push myself physically to the limit. And a lot of people can understand that. Um, you know, you can't be in a big event and you know what you've gone through and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, when they're not saying going above that limit, um, so that's what I like. I was going to leave that went to my limit for 15 years harder than a time to. That's, you know, that's a perfect outcome for the day. Nice. Well, Preston, thank you so much for coming out. It's been so good for me having some of this conversation and you know, look at our main core and all of our same plans. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you for the name. Look for you. That's it. I got that. That's it. And I'll be up there for the full and I won't have the same one for you. Oh, cool. I'll just give you some pictures so I can do some pictures up for you. Okay. Um, that's all I got here. So we'll talk to you again. We can see you then. Have a good one. Hey, sir. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you were able to learn something from today's episode. If you enjoy the show, please take a minute to leave a review on iTunes or share it with a friend. 
Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. If you'd like to see pictures from this athlete's race, learn more about who I am, what I'm doing, or be on the show yourself to share your story, check out my website at CoachTerryWilson.com. Until next time, continue the pursuit.